This year's Overall Founders Award winner is a school that has gone to great heights to show their abilities. They have taken on a huge challenges for their community and their school. This year's Founders Award winner sent a balloon into space. And has a facilitator that is also out of this world and in a very special way. Please welcome to the stage for the youngest Founders Award winner ever, Sonora, Sonora Elementary, Elementary School. school. this wonderful opportunity. My name is Ricky Vaughn, and I am a second year East student in fourth grade at Sonora Elementary. Hi, my name is Kylie Miller, and I'm a fourth grader at Sonora Elementary. This is my second year of East. We're very grateful to be given the chance to be able to share our East story with you and to be able to showcase our unique program. Our main goal during this presentation is to show that we can not only do amazing things in our EAST program, but also accomplish high goals compared to high school or even college level students. It's by the design of this great initiative that 10 year old kids like me are able to solve some pretty amazing problems in the local community. What it means to be a Timothy Stevenson Founders Award finalist? is that your EAST program has taken their project a step further in sophistication and student growth to a very high level. We feel that our relationship with our local community is extremely strong and improving even more. And we have learned so many awesome things from these amazing partners. One of our closest partners, Northwest Technical Institute in Springdale, has proven to be very beneficial for both groups. Billy Graham, one of NTI's lead professors, has helped us think outside of the box with some of our projects. In October, we launched our first weather balloon with the program. By using their 3D machining tool, we were able to cut a high-density styrofoam launch vessel that would reach up to 95,000 feet in altitude. We also used our GPS tools to help track the balloon and locate its final destination in Blue Eyes, Missouri. We also needed their help to drive. Our feet can't reach the pedals yet. <laughs> During our second weather balloon launch, we installed the Texas Instruments launch pad, the TMP-006 booster pack. With the help of this microcontroller, we are able to read temperatures at 100,000 feet in real time. Billy Graham and NTI are now using a very similar microcontroller to our TA Launchpad prototype. We have been able to add to their post-secondary experience and grow together with these college students. It's projects like these that really boost our community involvement and project sophistication. In September, we wanted to make our very own smartphone app, but we didn't really know where to start. So we started playing around with this program called Xcode so we would learn how to code. But we struggled. We struggled a lot. So we reached out to our community and found somebody from Rockfish Interactive out of Rogers, Arkansas. Our client, Daniel Worthy, told us that the most important part about designing a program isn't about the code. It's about the planning. So we planned out each button, each function, and this took up about 75% of our time. We continued to stay in contact with Rockfish over Skype and learned different types of code 
and developments of apps. We used Aptana Studio to code out this app. Through several months of grinding out YouTube tutorials and debugging code, we were able to launch our app last week. It is now available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. Camp Alliance is a project that aims to help military families of those soldiers that serve our country. Every year, 200,000 students in our country have to watch a parent leave to go serve overseas on a tour of duty. This takes an emotional toll on the youth of our country. While partnering up with Camp Alliance, we have been able to help a much larger community. Camp Alliance and their CEO, Jody Bergstrom, have developed a brand of coffee that will be distributed in local Walmart stores. 75% of the profits will go towards Camp Alliance, which in turn would help out thousands of military families across the U.S. Instead of making some poster or video that hardly anyone would ever see, we decided to help out in a more sophisticated way. With the help of Cass Chris Angel and pulling a bit of data from the U.S. Census records, we were able to design a very helpful map. Walmart committed to allowing this Camp Alliance product to be placed in 500 stores nationwide. Our main goal was to figure out which stores would be the most beneficial in relation to military population by merging several layers and housing our findings on Esri Story Map software, we were able to generate the top 500 Walmarts in the most densely populated veteran counties. Our Story Map was presented in the main boardrooms at Walmart home offices, and as a result, all 500 of our recommended stores had the Camp Alliance product placed in them. Camp Alliance in Sonora East has positively affected the lives of over 2 million military reservists and their families nationally. This has included over 750,000 military youth in the U.S. This has opened up the door on two more projects with Camp Alliance and Walmart home offices, which is a great and huge opportunity for our program. We have grown so much over the last three years. During our first year, we set out to make a library on wheels for Sonora students that live 20 plus miles away from the closest public library. And this would be very helpful for our school because sadly, most of our students do live that far away from a library. So after writing a few grants and reaching out to a handful of clients, we were rejected by every person and were told that this wasn't yet a possibility. So several years later, we tried again. And with a little help from the 21st Century Learning Grant, the Springdale Chamber of Commerce, the Springdale Public Schools Education Foundation, and a donated van by Steve Smith Country GMC in Springdale, we were able to bring this project back to life. We had designed a vector image wrap to be painted on the van. We have used ArcGIS to make eight stops for the most densely populated areas for the mobile library to hit. And we have logged thousands of books onto our iPad Mini for check-in and check-out procedures. This summer, over a thousand students in the near area of Sonora will be able to check out books two different times a week for free and still be able to learn and grow through literacy. This has been an amazing year for our EAST program. And we're very thankful for all the community partners, clients, and EAST friends that have helped us along the way. We are surrounded by EAST programs of all different grade levels that are changing the way education is being taught in our state and nationwide. To stand in this room is a true honor, and we're very thankful for all the support. Congratulations to the EAST programs in attendance and to the EAST initiative. Our future is trending now.